Earthpen. Good day learners, this is Earthpen. For today's topic, we are going to talk about the basic properties of real numbers. In mathematics, there are numbers that are called real numbers. Real numbers are type of numbers we normally used. Positive or negative numbers, whole numbers, or decimal numbers are real. Example of positive numbers are 1, 2, 3, 5, 10, 150. Example for the negative numbers, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 5, negative 10, negative 150. Now for the whole numbers, 1, 2, 3, 5, 10, 150. And for the decimal numbers, 1.5, 2.75, 15.5. There are also basic properties of real numbers. The commutative property for addition and multiplication, associative property for addition and multiplication, and the distributive property. N now let's discuss first the commutative property of addition and multiplication. Commutative property of addition tells us that the order of addition does not change the value of the sum. So, for example, adding 1 plus 2 will give us the same answer as adding 2 plus 1. Now, let's have another example. Suppose we have two groups of balloon. There are 5 blue balloons and 4 red balloons. How many balloons are there? We can add it by adding first the 5 blue balloons to 4 red balloons, which results to 9 balloons. Or we can also add it by adding first the 4 red balloons to 5 blue balloons, and the result is also 9 balloons. So it means that it doesn't matter what order of numbers we added. Now for the commutative property of multiplication, it states that the product does not change when the order of multiplication gets changed. So for example, you're multiplying 2 times 6, it will give you the same answer as multiplying 6 times 2. Now let's make a visualization of this example. So for 2 times 6, let's have 2 rows of 6 cakes each. And for the 6 times 2, we have 6 rows of 2 cakes each. Look at how the cakes are arranged. They are just simply the rotated version of each and if we count the total number of cakes, we can see that both have the same number of cakes which is 12, no matter how they are arranged. So that's the commutative property of addition and multiplication. Well, let's proceed to the associative property of addition and multiplication. Associative property of addition states that when we add 3 or more numbers, we can group them in any manner, and the sum will remain the same. For example, we have to add 5 plus 2 plus 3. We can group 5 plus 2 and then add the number 3. Or we can group first the 2 plus 3 and then add the number 5. And both will have the same answer, which is 10. Now let's have another example. There are three piles of blocks. First pile consists of three blue blocks. Second pile consists of four red blocks. And the third pile consists of two yellow blocks. Now the question is, how many blocks are there? So by applying the associative property of addition, we can add first the blue and red blocks and then add the yellow blocks or we can also add it by adding first the red blocks and yellow blocks and then add the blue blocks and both will have the same answer just like the associative property of addition the associative property of multiplication also states that whenever we multiply three or more numbers the value of the product remains the same when they are grouped in any manner so for example, 
we have to multiply 2 times 3 times 4. We can group 2 times 3 first and then multiply 4. Or we can group 3 times 4 first and then multiply 2. And then perform the order of operation and both will result to a product of 24. Now let's take a look at how this property works with a more visual example. A company is donating books to the public library. To bring books to the public library, two trucks have arrived with 10 boxes each. There are 8 books inside each box. Now the question is how many books have reached to the public library? So to solve this problem, we can group it in different ways. We can multiply first the number of trucks by the number of boxes in each truck and then multiply the number of books in each box. Or we can multiply first the number of boxes by the number of books in each box and then multiply the number of trucks and both will have a result of 160 books in total. So that's the concept of associative property of addition and multiplication. Now let's proceed to the last topic which is the distributive property. Distributive property shows that multiplication of a whole number is distributed over the sum of the whole numbers. For example, if we have to multiply 2 to the group 4 plus 5, to apply distributive property, we just need to distribute the whole number 2 and multiply it by each member of the group individually. That means the equation will become 2 times 4 plus 2 times 5. Now let's have another example. What will be the answer if we multiply a whole number 3? to the group 10 plus 6. So again, to solve this, we just need to distribute the whole number 3 to each member of the group individually. So the equation will become 3 times 10 plus 3 times 6. And the answer is equal to 48. Now let's take a look at how this property works with a more visual example. Three friends went to a fast food restaurant to buy some snacks. A french fries costs $6 and a glass of cola is cost $4. If three of them purchase french fries and cola, find the total amount purchased for all the orders. So based on the problem, we can create numerical expression that looks like this. The whole number three means there are three people who ordered and $6 and $4 are the prices of french fries and cola. So th to determine the total amount purchased for all the orders, we can use the distributive property. We will just distribute the whole number 3 to each member of the group individually. And the equation will become 3 times 6 plus 3 times 4. The result is 30. Therefore, the total amount of all orders is $30. So that's the basic properties of real numbers. Again, a quick review. There are three basic properties of real number, namely commutative property, associative property, and distributive property. And here's the, a summary of the three basic properties. So that's it guys. Did you enjoy our topic for today? I hope you learned a lot about the basic properties of real numbers. Also, you can watch our other video tutorials here on our channel. Once again, this is Earthpen. Learning has never been this easy for anyone, anywhere. Have a nice day.